Hello and welcome to topic seven of Math 144. For this topic, you'll be taking a look at the stock market in relation to financial literacy. Congratulations on making it to the final week of class. Taking a look at the objectives for this week, you'll see that those involve looking at stocks, bonds, and taxes. In this case, the corresponding lessons in Alex are going to be 2-7 and 2-8 in the textbook. Moving to the tasks, you'll see that you have a little bit more to complete in Alex this week. First, you're completing the basics objective, so you'll try to complete as many of those skills as you can by the end of the week. In addition, you have the final exam review and final exam. Both of these are 36 question tests that go back over the same topics one through six review question that you've seen throughout the class. Note that you can take the final exam review as many times as you'd like, but you can take the final exam only once. So a good strategy here will be to take the final exam review a number of times until you're comfortable that you're doing well there before moving on to the final exam. Looking at the weekly DQs, you'll see that the first one is the one involving calculations related to the stock market. Here in particular, you'll be looking up stock market information and calculating current investment values, gain loss information, and other information related to <clears throat> stock market analysis. Your instructor will have more specifics about what to do there. For DQ2, we're asking for your feedback on the class as a whole. Here, if you have any suggestions about items to add or modify in the class, this would be a great place to provide that. The feedback that we get here is something that the faculty evaluates, discusses, and uses to make modifications to the class in the future. So we appreciate your input here. Again, welcome to topic seven, and we hope that you enjoy this last week of class.